What's going on guys? It is the Coaster Battleman here, bringing you an awesome video. The top 5 SNS L Loco Coasters. So, the L Loco Coaster is a compact coaster with a very steep drop over 90 degrees, and that's around the steepness that most of these coasters are at. So this is going to be a pretty cool list to see which coasters are the best. So, number 5 is the Crazy bird so crazy bird so this is an indoor el loco coaster this is one of the few indoor el locos one of the two very steep drop has a pretty nice layout and overall very good ride i think it's very solid very good had those crazy inversions beyond vertical drop and tight turns very great ride and that drop is very steep as well so Number four, we have Green Lantern, and this is a pretty cool ride. So this coaster has twice as many people on each cart as the usual ones of these. And this ride can fit up to eight people in a car instead of four, so double the capacity, So which is a good thing about this ride. But this coaster has a pretty unique layout as it is the tallest of its kind so pretty steep drop pretty cool layout the track type is kind of weird though for this ride compared to the other El Loco coasters which isn't bad but this coaster even though it has the highest capacity out of all of them and the highest height so other than that I feel like this coaster looks like your traditional version so it still looks very good though. Number three is Steel Hog, and this is the only one of these rides I've ridden. And it's at number three because I rode it. If I didn't ride it, I feel like a Green Lantern would be ranked a bit higher. But Steel Hog, what can I say about this ride? Riding one of these for myself, I know that the drop is awesome. There's amazing hang time on these things. The heartline roll and the final inversion on this ride both give some elite hang time. And there's some really wonky and tight turns on this ride as well. Kind of like the other SNSL Locos. So, number two, we have Timber Drop. And this is Steel Hog on steroids, basically, with this ride. Steep drop, but the thing is, right before you go up the lift hill, you will go through a tree stump. On the first drop, you go through another one, and then on the final turn, you go through another one. Very similar layout to Steel Hog, but a great ride with hang time, wonky turns, and that steep drop through the tree trunk. So, very, very good ride indeed. So, and number one is El Loco. This is the El Loco at Adventure Dome in Vegas. And this is an awesome ride. It has two really insane heartline rolls, both with great hang time. And this is an indoor coaster, very compact, like all of these. But this is extremely compact due to the indoors style. And it goes through the rocky, the artificial rocky terrain. And it's a really cool ride. Definitely a great addition to this Adventure Dome along with Canyon Blaster, which is a solid arrow looper. But moving on to El Loco, great coaster, great drop, great hang time. Definitely an amazing coaster. And definitely the best SNS El Loco coaster, despite being called El Loco. So that was my opinion. What's your opinion on the El Loco coasters? What is your favorite El Loco coaster? Did you ever ride any SNS El Loco coasters? Tell me in the comments below, and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.